So we have to start to build a shelter, we have to start to grow food, we have to do a lot of the bare necessities in order to survive. Don, what are some things that I'm forgetting? Uh, we need to set up some sleeping space and a yes. jail. Oh, very important. I mean, eventually we might get attacked and we need to put these people somewhere. That's right. All right, Donald. So everyone is sleeping right now. Why yes. they they had to sleep on the floor the first night? That yeah. kind of sucks. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't have no beds or, or bed shelter. zone. Okay, that's true. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is uh, just set up a bed spot. So okay, this isn't spot. a bed. This is just like spots on the floor that you could sleep. Mm. And but since, eventually we'll get a bed. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually. Hopefully. That, that's what uh, <laughs> I have. This little spot here is a room. Okay. Very for nice. For our bed that they'll eventually make. Uh, for now, I'm gonna use this as our. Our house for now. Okay. Uh, I Until plan we begin to, to mine. Yes, I plan to make this the the gel, eventually. Oh, this this building here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I like that idea. And then and it will live inside the mountain. Yes. I like that. And there's still a lot of things for us to. There's still a lot of room in the mountain to do. Yeah, I mean a whole bunch. There's whole like you go all that. A whole bunch. As well yeah. as you might notice. I so mean, this was always confusing to me. Those like there's discoloration. So those are resources. Right? So like uh, you see over there in the corner, there yeah. are certain so resources. So this is, uh, I think, steel, and then there's like Like the gray, the gray is just, uh, it's just regular stone, marble. Marble, um, and then just sandstone. But that was very confusing to me at first, because I was like, wait, what are you talking about resources? Yeah, but yeah, it's that, like, yeah. That, that took me a while too. So that's kind of something important to point out that, yeah, so when you're digging, you might see like a different color while you dig into the mountain, and that's, that's certain resources. Do we, so also we should probably talk about that. How much silver we have, how much food we have, all that stuff's pretty important. Now, is that just in our stockpile or is that throughout uh, the entire world? No, that's just in our stockpile. Okay. So we've got 15 meals. We've got 204 yeah. wood. But, I mean, there's we got a bunch of steel right here that they haven't moved yet. Oh, okay. Uh, there's, there's probably food throughout the, the area, too. Yeah. I mean, you could always hunt these little things that you see. That's true. But we have turtles. to get up a cooking. We'd have to start cooking that stuff. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so... And you need power for that. That's what I was about to mention. Donald, what is your power strategy? I know that a lot of people have different um, sort of strategies for power. I don't see any geysers. Yeah, I know that... Uh, thermal, you could use thermal energy, so if you see like a... Like there's like one right there. Oh, yeah, Bam. there you go. So those are like the best, right? The thermal energy yeah. is, is oh, look, among one, the best. There's one right there. But would we be able to get the power uh, all the way around the mountain? Yeah, well, I mean, what, I mean we, we just dig through the mountain and then boom, power That's line. That's a good point, yeah. We're gonna need a lot of. Is that silver for that? That's uh, gonna require. Steel. Okay. Lots and lots of steel. So you you are more a fan of, I'm guessing the the, the geyser power, the steam. Uh, I'm I'm a big fan of solar power. Oh, solar power. Okay. Uh, so what I do is I build a ridiculous amount of solar solar generators, uh -huh. and then a ridiculous amount of batteries, mm -hmm. and uh, I put that like way off to the side. Like I probably That's build very it. Smart. Like, I probably build it like right Doesn't here. Doesn't need to be in the open. Don't we need to chop down like a lot of the trees nearby? Uh, or does well, that not matter? Well, when you put down something, uh -huh. uh, your guys will like clear that area. Oh, okay, okay. So that so you know that's, that's one what, good thing. Yeah, because uh, I know a lot of people don't like wind turbines. Why? Yeah, because uh, so the wind turbine, like you see, oh, oh it's time to name our town. Time to name after after you live so long, you got to name your town. Okay. Uh, uh, you can name it whatever you want. Oh for. yes, whatever oh, you want. Oh man, yes. I it's know. always this is always the most fun part in, in every single series. Whenever you give me the keyboard and I name it whatever I want, um, uh, 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 crack, uh, crack, uh, topia. Bam! I haven't used that one before. There we go. We're crack topia. <laughs> um, so yeah, why aren't wind wind turbines as favored as other forms of power? I guess so, like the solar. You see the front and back areas. Uh -huh. mm. All that needs to be clear, so mm. it could harness the wind. I get you. Which means you need to do a lot of clearing, and that's annoying. So yeah, very yeah. annoying. Especially when you're in a and when, and like kind of a map like this. Yes. If we were in a desert, though, it'd then, probably be pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, so what I'd probably do is build a bunch of like solar panels right here, uh -huh. and then make this like my battery house and just have this full of batteries. Oh, that's a, that's a good idea. So. Uh, good. Oh, what resource is that, Donald? Look at that very interesting color uh, there. I believe that is gold. Oh yep. yeah, gold member. Mm -hmm. So we've got gold. That's that's a good start. I, I don't see much gold in this map. Mm, that is true. That is very true. So that might be a very valuable resource at some point. So, so what's everybody doing boom. right now, Donald? Uh, so it looks like one person. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He was constructing things. Oh, they're uh, going to get uh, the stone. Yeah, it looks like they're uh, they're hauling, bringing stuff. Anyways, we got our one room done. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, drop some furniture up in there. We start making beds. Yes. 
Uh, I like to make everything out of wood. Agreed. Yes, because we have a lot of trees. Yeah, uh, trees are our our growable source. Uh huh. That's a good, and, very good know. point. Uh, anyways, I made this room five by four. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not. I read somewhere that that's like the old, that's like the optimized yes. to make your person happy in that room. So that's the way I build my rooms. I, I agree. I also read that, and that, that is important. If you make a room too small, it might make them sad, and they might go crazy and kill everybody, exactly. which is a possibility. Very big possibility. I've yes. had that happen. I've, <laughs> since I like – funny story. Funny story, Drew. Uh, I was doing the same strategy, uh-huh. but I only made like a one a one lane hallway. Oh, okay. And uh, my guy went crazy on the outside, came in. <laughs> And he was just mowing just people down. Everybody. Just mowing them down. And, uh, you know, they couldn't get out because it was a one, a one hall, oh my hallway. That is terrifying. So uh, everybody died. <laughs> everybody going to die. Dang. That is uh, that is really terrifying. So how do you get all that crap out of there, Donald? There's a lot of uh, crap well, in there. Well, that's what they just do. They're hauling stuff. Oh, okay. So they'll eventually uh, haul everything else out. Yeah. And uh, they'll eventually clean it. Oh, oh, we got oh, a crazy got, turtle or a crazy... Uh, mad animal. Is well, it a crazy squirrel usually? Uh, I think it's the just ch- chinchilla. Oh, okay. Or something. I don't. I don't. I we're gonna, we're gonna go chinchilla. hunting. Let's see. Oh, it's the chinchilla. You can tell how you can tell if they're crazy because they move like super quick. So should we get the guy with the rifle and uh, start shooting this dude? This guy has a gun. Well, that'll be good enough. Uh, what I'm gonna do is. Oh, I'm drafting all these guys. So when you draft them, you could uh, control them and put them like basically where you want them to be. Which is really really fun when you have like a huge battle going on. Oh, he yeah, he's so coming boom, after boom, him. Boom. So he's shooting that. Oh, oh, who oh, got oh. hurt? He, he's, he's getting hurt. By the so, chinchilla, too. So when they get up close, uh, you notice he's not shooting. He's meleeing because they're in melee range. Uh-huh. So what you want to do is have the melee person in front taking that damage. Not, yeah. Not sure. But luckily he already killed the chinchilla. Yeah, well, chinchilla's, you know, pretty yeah, easy. Yeah, he's, he's a little guy. He's a little, little something. So how much damage did, Ch- did Chimp take? Is that his name, Chimp? Uh, Chimp? Yes. Yeah, it looks like. Right, Entrepreneur. Is he uh, okay? He's bleeding. Scratch, bite. Oh, yeah, he's fine for uh, the most part. Well, that bite yeah. could be bad, right? I mean, he's only... I mean, he, like they're already patched up. Oh, okay, okay. So, so he's good. Boom. He's going he's gonna to stay there. He's going to heal. So that, that, that health of our citizen is really, really important. Because eventually you yes. could have someone get their arm chopped off. They mm-hmm. get a disease. They could they die. Get, they get shot, and then it gets infected, and then it turns into disease, and then they die. Yep, and they bring that disease. Yeah, that, like that, that. All that stuff is pretty important. Oh, he's already fully healed, so we're good. I'm a little bit... I was stressed out a little bit. Uh, need meal source. What uh, is that notification oh, saying? So that means we need uh, a meal source. So we need a uh, we need a cook. We need to butcher animals. So uh-huh. I'm going to make a room. Which means means we're gonna need power as well, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna make a, very soon. a cooking room right there. Okay. Very nice. And then uh, I'm also going to build some solar panels. Where do you want to build some solar panels? I feel like I'm afraid to build them too far away. Is it bad? Close? I'd like to, yeah, I think it'd be a good idea to right. bring them boom. somewhat close. So I'm going to build... Just build. watch those boom a loopa <laughs> thingies. <laughs> I like to start off with two. Okay. Just because, and I'm going to... Oh, yeah, that's a really good idea. You could put it right in there. Yeah, I'm going to use, I'm going to put the power stuff, batteries. Bam. Now, why is that important to put it inside, Donald's oh. batteries? <laughs> oh, let me tell you. <laughs> let me tell you, Drew. Uh, when I first started, uh-huh. I did not know about inside and outside. <laughs> I built a bunch of batteries outside. It started raining and yeah, stuff just yeah. started blowing up. <laughs> doof, 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 doof. Yep. And I had no idea what the oh, hell was happening. That's funny. Oh, that's hilarious. And uh, it turns out if batteries get wet, they blow up. Yes. Uh, so after you build your batteries, you know, you got to get the power. So you need to build a, a whatever this is, power conduits to your batteries. And then you're also going to want to build them to your... Oh, dang, it's raining now. To Which your... Scary. Uh, wherever you need your power to go. Yes. Something else is we just got somebody to join us. Oh, nice. Boom. We just oh, got that's awesome. a new settler. I think Check. it's a naked person. What's this naked, what's, what's this naked person get all about? What's their character like? Uh, character, bam. Okay, they're very social. Social. They're incapable of intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> they're incapable capable of violence. So, geez, that sucks. Uh... Good miner. Yeah. She is. That, that's uh, really he, useful right whatever. now, actually. Yeah. Because we do need a mine. We, and, and there's, but they're abrasive. That's yeah. very weird. You're abrasive, but you're also very social. Weird combination. Maybe you should fo- have her focus completely on mining. That's what I was about to tell you, Donald. Like, this might be a really Ooh. good idea to, like, uh, to mining, really put mining flesh out the priority list of everybody. Uh, 
I'm gonna put her a two on cleaning okay. and two on hauling, and Good I'm idea. gonna take her off cooking. Yeah, yeah, we don't need. I, to cook. I, this is just me, but I like to have one cooker, uh-huh. and I don't have that person really do much else besides that. Mm-hmm. Which looks like this is already kind of set up. It's that gonna way. have to be brown, yeah. So, uh, yeah. The that's... problem with brown, Brown's, like, really good, though. Remember that, Donald's? He's, like, good all around. That's the only thing to keep in mind. But, yeah. yeah. I, I just, yeah, <laughs> just, just want to throw that out there. What does that other thing say? Vis- oh, visitors. That's what... Oh, visit. Uh, yeah, you get visitors like that dude. He's just chilling here, just right? Just chilling. I guess... Nick like, is just like, yeah. If, if you had, like, a visitor section set up, they would go and chill there. Okay. Instead of just on the ground. Is there a possibility of them joining the town? I, I can't remember. Uh, That is a good question. I... Th- I th- Feel like I thought they used to, but I, I don't know. I'm not 100 percent about that. Mm-hmm. Can't remember. I don't think they do. No. Uh, I have no idea. So that's okay. a good question. Okay, we'll figure that out. So why are we at low food right now, Donalds? Uh, well, we have 17 food. Oh, okay, but it says low. But food we right have there. 14 people, or we have four people, and each day they're gonna have at least one food. Okay. So you figure we have about probably, four days. Yeah. Wait, four days. Okay. But it's all right because we're working on making our cooking section. Yep. And since we got that new person, they're just going to be mining for us. They're just going to be mining. That's good. So, so what I was meaning though is like you see those round those rocks. We have to haul those rocks out, right? Uh, so like you don't those, have to. Oh, okay. You could totally leave them there. You can keep but, the chunks there. Yeah. So I don't know. Usually when I start off, I I leave the chunks there mm-hmm. and I leave it kind of messy. Yeah. Until after I you know I set up my cooking. And I'm not worried about, you know, starving to death. Oh, that's a good point. That's and after good. that, I worry about all the cosmetic stuff, like laying down floor and tile. Uh-huh. Uh, yes. One thing we didn't do is set her restrictions, the new person restrictions. Okay. And so you can just copy and paste, copy. right? Oh, that's perfect. Uh, copy, paste. Bam. So we have all, everyone sleeping at the same time. But is that – so that's not necessarily a good strategy for the later part, right? When we have enough colonists, we should be having the night team, like a night crew and a day crew, or no? Does that really not matter? I don't think it really matters. Uh-huh. Uh, as you see, there, that person right there is, is cleaning stuff. Okay, that's good. Stuff. Hey, what's so, that dog doing here? What what you doing, uh, dog? That's our dog. So can oh that is our dog. That I didn't even dog. realize that we had a dog. Yeah. We, what's its name? Uh, Unstoppable. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. <laughs> I didn't realize that you that you tamed it. When did you tame the dog? We you start off with one animal. Oh, you, oh okay. You start off with one animal. I must have missed that at the start. No matter what. <laughs> oh, that's it's cool. always random animal. I think dog is by far the best because they could haul stuff. So you yeah, can train oh, them to good. haul stuff, which is amazing. And they could have gone after that chinchilla. We should have got that dog to. Sick the chinchilla. Yeah, but he he's not a uh, he's not trained to attack. Oh, shit. oh, okay. See, this dog is untrained right now. Okay. Can uh, we start training him yet or no? We can. Boom. I think we it can... takes up food to train it, but uh. But well, we should be growing things soon. I think, right? Yeah, I mean it's growing. As long as we have the cooking. There, our uh, our potatoes are halfway grown. Very nice. So should we? When are you going to uh, start to bring down some of those some of that power from the solar panels? You going to wait for? You... Uh, well, we got nothing to power yet. Yeah. So. uh... Because uh, the caves, they, they need light, right? In, in order for our, our people to not go crazy. Is that a part of the, is that a part of the requirement for them um, to not go crazy? I think it's, it's one of the factors that makes them go crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's not. But as long one, as you yeah. have a nice enough house. Oh, okay. Then it's you gonna know, be okay. it kind of counteracts. But eventually we could put some light in there. Uh, I want. I really want to get this cooking thing done. Yes. So uh, that's why I took out all this other mining, so they'll finish this and go straight into this area. That's smart. But what are the other two people doing? I know that there's two miners. Well, let's see. Let's see what their work is. is let's it, try to figure out exactly what they're doing. I mean, they might be hauling stuff still. I know that, I know that there are a few probably, resources around here. Yeah, so she, whoever that is, I can't read the name. She's moving really oh, quick. Oh, now? Oh, okay, oh, okay. Right. So some people are cleaning. They are focused on the, on the cave system, which is good. Yeah. Plus, I think that... We should remember there. There's more meals around the, around the world. If we wanted to, we can always go and like find some of the meals like that are located like way off in the middle of the map. It's just gonna be dangerous trekking out that way, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's always dangerous when you leave home. Mm-hmm. But I mean, we could do. Because I'm pretty sure I saw some. I thought I saw some like way over here somewhere. Maybe not. Sometimes we get we get so we get uh, crash landings, right, Donald? There are crash yes. landings that come so and there's, bring us uh, resources. Like more escape pods or something that just fall from the sky. Mm, okay, very cool. So there's there's, there's some, some meals. Food. Yep. And I, we'll and probably find some more. We could later. always go out hunting to uh, oh, yes. hunt stuff. So uh, whoever has the rifle, I'll have to look. Let me see. Do you have a rifle? Is it chimp? No, it's the other dude. Uh, this lady? No, this lady. Whoever, uh-huh. Bluebird. So uh, I'm gonna set Bluebird to the only hunter. I don't think we mentioned that uh, that Bluebird is 56 years old. We might have skipped over that. 
Uh, <laughs> is that bad? Is that bad, Donald? I mean, she could die any second. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so no big deal. Yeah, no big deal. Not that big of a deal. I mean, and when people die, it's just, it's just like life. You know, after a certain age, you just stop working. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these things to be hunt. Okay, and since good. our only hunter is Bluebird, and I have her priority hunting. She's gonna hunt. She's gonna hunt. She's gonna get us food. Now, don't we need a location like a stockpile for the meat, right? Yes. But we're gonna put that inside the cooking. And so, hall. so as soon as this is done, I'm gonna make another area, say like right there, for uh, for our freezer. Oh yes. So, so you can make a freezers uh -huh. with uh, temperature with your cooler, eventually, and we'll be like that, and then it'll yes. just. Yes. Because you need the Keep side, so you need the warm side to be outside, right? Right. Yep, I know. Red, red is heat. I know how life works. Blue is cold. <laughs> <laughs> I know enough about air conditioning now. So how long does it take for our dog to to be good, uh, to be able to do things? So I think you could train them once a day, and they have like a percent chance on, uh, on successfully being trained. Okay. So we want to look at our handler and see who has more handling skill. Uh, it is this person. Oh, so, okay, Bluebird. Okay, so, wow. so maybe after she's done. Yeah, after she's done, then she'll come hunting. over and try to teach this dog some new tricks. <laughs> teach the okay, old dog yeah, good new point. tricks. That's good. Okay, we finished. Boom. All right. So what, what what's next? So next is production mm -hmm. and uh, cooking. You want a stove. I'm going to go ahead and put the stove right there. Uh, also, butcher table is pretty smart if I could find the butcher table. Steel butcher, butcher so, table. table. Boom. That, like that mm -hmm. and uh as soon as they get built i'm gonna bring the power over here and then hopefully we'll get some of this stuff done and they and can that, start cooking with the plants that we are uh growing. That we are growing and you can designate stockpiles right for to just put food in there right so we could go to our stockpile uh -huh. and say don't yeah. put any food in here and then make another stockpile and say just food only right, right? and that's what we're going to do after we build uh after we build our little cooler so, so what is this part of the room for uh, this part of the room that we're about to build is going to be our cooler area. So it's going to be our, our walk-in freezer, oh, okay. just like a fancy restaurant. Oh, and we're gonna we're gonna make the uh, we're gonna make a wall. I imagine. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a wall right there, uh -huh. and then I'm probably gonna dig out a little bit more. So because you need your you need your uh, freezer thing, whatever your cooler, to uh, excuse me, be conducted to the outside. Oh, okay, I get you. You know, to yeah, get yeah, that, yeah. To, to bring in that fresh air. One thing to remember that I know that we're gonna forget after Mimi's done with that, she has nothing else that she's doing. So we have to we're gonna have to prioritize her to do something because that's that's her only job right now, which is good. Boom. Uh, Bluebird. Right? Is it Mimi? Mimi. Oh. Oh, she does do other things. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Cleans. We're good. She hauls. So she'll be hauling out all that marble that's left. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. what. Okay. Just just that's good. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and connect our power from over here. So is that going to cost us? So we oh we have a bunch of resources. It's fine that it's yeah we, a little we, bit further away. We good. We're gonna go straight down the hall. Boom. Luckily, hopefully that that same thing doesn't happen to this town. That happened where someone just busted in, just started killing everybody. Just killing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you had how many people at that time? Like ten people? Uh yeah, and they just got trapped in there. Oh man. Because it, it was it was just one just hallway. A straight hall. So you know, just instant resistance. That is just terrifying. Getting destroyed. So we should be finishing up our, our little kitchen very soon, as well as our cooler. Uh, but we'll have to save that for episode three. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know I'm learning a lot. Uh, Donald, you know a lot more than I do, so I'm very glad that <laughs> I'm still in this situation where I'm, I'm not the one that's controlling the mouse. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.